Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Nick Hansen and wanted to share some tennis uh, wisdom with you and uh, some inspiration uh, via self-help and spiritual texts. I'm a bit of a, a, a reader and I love reading uh, different books about spirituality and psychology and self-help and all of that kind of thing. And so I was just going to share some of those, a um, couple of things I've been reading lately and some, some different thoughts. Um, I've been really busy uh, managing uh, a lot of different projects lately and haven't had as much time to express, haven't had much time to play my uh, guitar. And so I'm hoping in these brief uh, videos, I'll be able to you know, express uh, some of those shots, thoughts, you know, share them with you and, and maybe something will resonate, uh, connect and, and help you out a little bit this week. Um, so the first thing I'm going to throw a tennis tip out at you real quick. So one of the most important things in tennis is an athletic stance. And I honestly think if you did nothing else but just try to get lower when you played and not pop up when you're hitting, that's going to help you so much. So I'm six foot two and a half. So my athletic stance should be um, about five, two and a half, about a foot shorter. And you can kind of exaggerate this, really get down low, you know, especially when you're at the net hitting those volleys, you want to be about eye level uh, with the ball. You know, a lot of times we're hitting those ground strokes, we're standing up straight and we don't have the power and we're just kind of too far away from the ball. So get a little bit lower, you know, maybe you need to take a, a yoga class. I know my hips and knees, you know, at 33 aren't what they used to be, but uh, the lower that we can be, the more success we're going to have uh, with the, the playing of tennis. Uh, okay, so uh, that's another thing. I don't think I'm going to make any edits on these, uh, so I may uh, flub up some transitions and whatnot, but that's tennis. Now we're transitioning to self-help, spirituality, uh, etc. So I love any kind of daily, uh, you know, uh, meditation book or any kind of thing where it's like uh, a daily reminders, you know, on January 27th, you know, they have a, a, a reading. And uh, this one, uh, this is a day book of comfort and joy, simple abundance by Sarah Ban Breathnack. And this one quote from Emmett Fox in here uh, really stood out. Bless a thing and it will bless you. Curse it and it will curse you. If you bless a situation, it has no power to hurt you. And even if it is troublesome for a time, it will gradually fade out if you sincerely bless it. Uh, that's Emmett Fox. So that just kind of reminds me that a lot of the times I want to try to fix external situations, you know, uh, to make me feel better. I want to have uh, whatever it is, that relationship, that money, that uh, success, that that validation, um, or I'm just unhappy in some way. I, I have a meal. I don't like the way it tastes. I, I Things aren't just the way that I want them. And uh, so can spend a lot of time and energy trying to, you know, fix these external things. Um, but if I just find that I can accept whatever it is that is going on, um, and I'm just going to preface all this by saying, I do not do any of this perfectly. Anything I share is just kind of what I'm thinking about and working on, sometimes doing well with it, sometimes doing horrible with it. And that's the whole thing with self-help too and, and progress and, and all this kind of stuff is like, at what point do we, are we, you know, striving to make that progress? At what point are we relaxing and accepting? It's a yin and a yang. I, I don't really know. Um, so I just want to always know that I'm just sharing, you know, about this, but I'm not saying... I'm doing so good, or you should be doing this. Um, I'm just sharing something that, that will that will possibly resonate. But this whole bless the circumstance thing really helped me last week um, to just kind of like, when things come up, rather than using my mind, like, is this good? Is this bad? Should I want to do this? What am I supposed to do? Just like, whatever comes up, it's coming up. You know, like Richard Bach says, stop cling, clinging to the rocks, you know, uh, and just kind of go with the flow. You know, the Tao Te Ching talks a lot about that. Uh, Jesus talks about that with the lilies of the field. They're growing, you know, with no no toiling and all and all that kind of thing. Um, so we see it throughout um, all these uh, different modes of of, of thought. Um, 
uh, which brings me up to, and it's kind of tied into stoicism too, of like whatever's coming up, accepting, embracing, you know, it's a chance to, to grow uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, which brings me to my next point, and which kind of inspired me to make this this quick video. Uh, my good friend shared this uh, can I C A N E I. Um, it's a it's I originally discovered it in a Tony Robbins book, and uh, and he reminded me that this uh, it's C A N E I constant and never ending improvement, and it's this Japanese philosophy where you know they're always trying to get better every day so much so that if you don't see your friend for three or four days next time you see them you'll be like who is that who is that person um i you know like because they've they've made some kind of uh transformation and uh i think this is a super powerful um concept and also um it's one that i go back and forth on a little bit like got striving let's get better let's make more happen you know, and some of the times uh, that can lead to burnout or it can lead to an overemphasis on the wrong things. Um, but, you know, if, if, what, if I'm trying to make this progress, it does seem like life gets bigger and, uh, and more exciting and that um, feel more, more fulfillment. Um, and so that is the canny eye. I don't even know if that's how you, how you say it. Uh, but it's, uh, just reminded me, I do like Tony Robbins, um, you know, and, uh, and he always, you know, has a way of, uh, of getting the crowd, uh, juiced up. I know he doesn't meditate, but he does these like priming things in the morning where he gets the, the arms going, which leads me to another one. I was reading this, uh, Kundalini yoga book. And apparently if you do this maneuver for three minutes every day, uh, you will make a fortune, um, I don't know if anyone has tried this and can test that, but uh, that's the type of yoga that has a lot of interesting uh, practices. Um, and finally, uh, we have this Benjamin Hardy book. Um, and I was reading this the past couple uh, nights, and then I saw that uh, Benjamin Hardy was on one of my favorite uh, shows, the Tom Bilyeu Impact Theory Show. And, um, and he just kind of collects a lot of good uh, information and thoughts, and he talks a lot about journaling. And one of the things that really helps me is doing these things called morning pages from the book of The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, where in the morning you just write out three pages uh, longhand. And, uh, and you might be, you're not trying to write a masterpiece. You're trying to, you know, things that you're worried about, maybe fears that you have, maybe things that you're grateful about, maybe a situation that's happening, maybe just random, you know, chicken scratch. Uh, whatever it is, just getting those thoughts out can really uh, clear things up. And sometimes by the third page, you're writing about things that maybe it's a poem, maybe it's a, a beginning of a story, maybe it's a solution, you know, to a problem. There's so much power in uh, in, in writing things out. Um, and so some of the benefits of journaling are heals relationships, heals the path, dignifies all events, is honest, trusting, not judgmental, strengthens your sense of self, balances and harmonize, yada, yada, you know, the gifts go on of uh journaling so if you've made it this far thank you for joining me for this impromptu uh you know uh middle of the day expression session um as uh the expression i've heard is lack of expression can lead to depression and i think there's certainly uh some truth to that so i hope you're having a good week and i hope that uh you know that's all i've got We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.